Good day, YouTube. Welcome to my channel. My name is Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Right now I'm here at the hotel room here in uh, Washington, DC, and uh, just waiting for the phone call to say, hey, Captain Darren, we got a flight for you and uh, I gotta get to the airport in two hours. But uh, no flying yet. It's uh, approaching 10 o'clock and I gotta be on uh, standby until uh, six o'clock this evening. But I thought about showing you guys um, how I operate uh, remote control on the Flex. I'm not using a Maestro. You know, I, uh, being an airline pilot, you get a, I, I live out of a suitcase, so I need to carry, I need to be light on my luggages. Previously, when I operate remote control, I would carry another laptop. It's the Dell XPS 17, and it's a beefy, heavy laptop. It took up a lot of space. I also had to carry an additional mouse, the, uh, the power supply brick that's huge like this. But now, with my new purchase of the Flex and its primary purpose in life is remote operation, I use an iPad mini and it's, it works. I've been uh, using it for 48 hours now, not 48 hours straight, but uh, for 48 hours, just rag chewing uh, and it works really well. So All right, welcome to my desktop. Let me show you how I connect to my RF2KS amplifier. I use a program called VNC Viewer and I, I already have it all configured. So I just double click on that and it brings up my amplifier display. Let me just close this out. I don't, I don't need that anymore. What's neat about this graphic user interface is you can adjust the window size. For those that have good eyesight, you can just minimize it like this. You can move this around wherever you want if you have poor eyesight like me i get these glasses you can increase the size also you can change your antenna on the fly uh, right now that's antenna 2 or i can go to well i got it configured here go to menu for my antennas if i want to go to my 80 meters i'll use antenna 1 Okay, antenna one is my 80 meter double bazooka. Antenna two is this right here. This is my DX Commander Classic. The internet connection at this hotel is kind of slow. As you saw earlier, I lost connection, but uh, it reconnected automatically. And to turn on my amplifier from standby to operate once I finish tuning it with the uh, smart SDR, I'll just click on that button there. Now it operates. Let me show you my setup here. This is my MacBook Pro 16 inch. I have my uh, RF2KS display and here's my iPad mini. So in order for me to connect, I gotta go to SDR, Smart SDR, and uh, I need to connect. I need to put my camera away because it's gonna show you an IP address. Okay, and once I connect, this pops up. It's super fast, you can see that in the flickering. But um, I don't know how to put that slice to put a slice in there permanently. You guys know how to do that? So I gotta do it manually. And then I need to change these uh, settings. So I gotta go to the left here. Display. I change the average, just bump it up a little bit, the average. Color gain, turn that down a little bit. So it looks a little bit better. Change my bandwidth. Twenty-five kilohertz. So that's that's a little bit better that way. And let's take a look here on the right side. Kind of wash out because of the gray and white. All right, so 
I'm not sure what I need to do. Every time when I, I, I tune, I gotta use the tuning power of 49 watts coming out of the radio. Uh, for example, let me tune here. It's at 49 watts. You can see it there at 49. And on the amplifier, you can see the output is at 11 watts with the SWR 16. And I can just retune it. Okay, there's it's done retuning. So 9 watts putting out on the amplifier, 1.7. But the power output is indicating 49 on the tune. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, why it's like that. Maybe uh, let me know what I need to do. Um, my microphone is set up to an iPad right there. You have several options. Uh, there we go. You got uh, a microphone, balance line, line in, and an accessory. I'm using an iPad. I have processor on. Um, with the gain, I got it set to four. You see it there, four. I don't know why I got the downward expander on, but I just left it on anyways. Um, here's my bandwidth. Um, I'm operating at 3K, low cuts 100, and then the high cuts uh, 3000. Something I want to show you, if um, I go up to here to radio and then down in the, the bottom here to transmit, you like your transmit profiles, currently it's selected at my, my profile is called 3K100 through 3000, I select it, right? Now if I want to go to my 4K profile, which is... Um, 50 low and then 4,000 high it's not currently selected I'm gonna go use it now it's selected and then I go back to the pan adapter it doesn't change the the bandwidth it still says 3 and 100 so I'm not sure what's going on with that I mean I can go back to say uh, 4,000 Oh, too much. These are increments of 50. So there it is. It's at 4,000 again. Uh, go up to radio. Go to 4,000. That's already selected. I'm going to save it. Okay. So it's currently selected. Now, if I want to go to 3K, again, going back, that was 3K from the beginning. To use it, it moves over to selected, back to the pan adapter, it should say 3K, but it doesn't. It says 4K. Again, I'm using under radio, and I'm using uh, the profiles for transmit right there. All right, here's the squelch. The squelch works. Um, you push it, it silence the, the white hash noise. I normally find out if I bring it up to a level of 95-ish. Well, now it's 84. That is going to work. So, let me find a, a strong station. Bandwidth 200. Here's some strong stations here. Just double tap. Bandwidth. Now I can just tweak it. Three fifteen. I get. All right, so it's breaking the squelch. I have a squelch set at 84. So it, it does work. You just got to play with it a little bit to find out what's, what best works for you. The strong depends on the, the, the strength of the signal incoming. Double tap, get out of there. 
So there's my squelch. That's how I have it set up. I'm only using one antenna. Let's try to make contact. Is this frequency in use? This is November 4, Victor, Foxtrot Romeo. One more time, is this frequency in use? November 4, Victor, Foxtrot, Romeo. Nothing heard. Calling CQ, hello CQ. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 4, Victor, Foxtrot, Romeo. November 4, Victor, Foxtrot, Romeo, calling CQ. CQ, CQ, CQ. November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo. November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo calling CQ and standing by. I was at 4K, I had to, I was changing it on the fly. Hello CQ, hello CQ, 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 CQ. This is November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo. November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo calling CQ. CQ, CQ, CQ 20 meters. This is November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo. November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo calling CQ and standing by. Was your call sign Kilo Golf 2 Romeo Lima Bravo? Is that a QSL? Over. Okay, QSL uh, Greg Kilo Delta 2 Romeo Lima Bravo. Yeah, my name is Darren. Uh, Darren is the name. I'm operating on a new Flex 8600. Uh, remote control right now using an iPad mini as my um, uh, what do you call it? It's my microphone. Um, how do you copy over? Uh, Roger, yeah, you're also S9, but my station in Jacksonville, Florida, it has a, a lot of power line noise. Um, all right, um, I'm making a video here for my channel. I just did an unboxing of my uh, radio, the uh, the Flex 8600. I'm not sure if you saw it. Um, what radio are you using there? Over. Oh, okay. Uh, very good, uh, Greg. Uh, thanks for uh, coming back to me. And the audio quality, um, are you familiar with the Flex or uh, the Anon audio? I'm using uh, basically the uh, the iPad microphone. Sometimes it sounds really good like, a, uh, um, like I'm using one of those studio microphones. Over. Awesome. All right, my friend. Um, nice uh, chatting with you, uh, Greg. Uh, and um, uh, be on the lookout. I'll put this on the, the YouTube channel. Just look for my call sign. You'll see it there. Uh, Kilo Delta 2, Romeo, Lima, Bravo. Uh, this is November 4, Victor, Foxtrot, Romeo. It's cold coffee now. Cool beans. So, uh, I do appreciate you guys watching my videos. I hope I hope you um, saw some things that um, piqued your your intrigue your, that you're intrigued about uh, how I have it set up. Maybe that you want to do the same thing. Um, maybe you're an RV traveler and then you're using um, Starlink or some sort of uh, connectivity to get on the internet. Uh, I tried this with with tethering and it does work via my phone uh, I have a Samsung Galaxy Note a phone and it does work but I chose to do the iPad uh, route because the audio quality sounds really really good um, thanks to Manny K0MO I have a video of his audio uh, and it also sounds almost like a, uh, a uh, 
and Anon, and he's using it uh, in Anon 200, I think, or Anon 100. But I'll leave the link above so you can take a look at that. So he gave me some inspiration. It's like, hey, just get the uh, iPad Mini. You don't need to buy the Maestro, the Maestro C, because that's an associated, that's another uh, cost that's pretty expensive. Me as an airline pilot, I, I can't, <coughs> excuse me, I can't carry too much stuff with me. I mean, I live out of my suitcase. I have a laptop that I make YouTube's videos on. I had an additional laptop that um, was able to connect to the ICOM 7610, which was my primary remote control HF rig. Now I closed the curtains on that. I'm not no longer using the RSBA1. I don't have to carry that heavy Dell XPS 17 laptop along with the mouse, along with its power supply. It's very heavy. All I now carry is an iPad mini. I'm sure you can use an iPad, but the mini is perfect for me. Uh, one more thing before you guys close. I didn't show you this earlier, but uh, let me turn this camera around. And what's neat about it, I can use my mouse. I can use only one mouse. It leaves my MacBook Pro and it jumps over to my iPad. Let me show you that. Here's the mouse right here. So if I take this mouse right there and drag it across, it actually jumps over to the iPad mini. It was pretty, pretty cool when I did that. Let me put it close together so you can see. All right, so there's my mouse. I'm going to move it to the left. Keep moving it to the left. Maybe I need to slam it over. Huh, where's my mouse? Um, is it coming across? Oh, there it is. So, my mouse is right here. You see where it's the little, little square? I'm going to drag it across. And there it is. There's my mouse right there. So I can go over here and then manipulate, you know, go to view, change my view, turn off the tuning. I'm doing everything uh, remote. I can transmit here, transmit by using the mouse. I can scroll up and down here. Uh, I got my noise blanker on, noise blanker off, turn on the squelch if I need to. And it's, it's really cool. Tune it. Tuning's good and everything. I just wanted to show you that if you got uh, a um, iOS ecosystem such as a MacBook, MacBook Pro, and an iPad, and you uh, travel, uh, go to the hotels, or travel out in the RV um, and connect your phone to, to Tether, <coughs> uh, that's a cool, cool option to have. All righty, guys. Well, I'll say 73s to you. Hey, if if you're new to my channel, please consider to subscribe to my channel. I get a lot of motivation and I, I respond to the emails and uh, messages and, and uh, texts that I, I receive. I'll see you on the next video. My name is Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. 73s and have a great day.